What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. The 365 Days franchise is not over. Yes, that's right. We are about to see a continuation, a continuation that will be quite different from its predecessors. This means we'll meet an evil version of Massimo, a more pleasing version of Nacho, and a heartbreaking version of Laura. With no further ado, this is why 365 Days 4 is about to change everything. Enjoy the video and the spoilers. And I expect you to leave for Sicily tomorrow to give me time and space I need. 2022 was a tough year for Netflix. They cancelled so many TV shows that we really wonder how they even managed to create three parts of 365 days without making a sudden decision to cancel yet another successful and popular project. Okay, seriously, are you guys still on Netflix? Did any of you cancel their subscription because of how many good series got cancelled? I really hope all of you are still there because there's a rumor suggesting Netflix is secretly working on yet another 365 days chapter. But how? Isn't this franchise based on books? And they've already used the source material, right? A lot of fans expected Netflix to give a final conclusion to the franchise with the much anticipated the next 365 days. But those who have seen the film know that we still need a proper ending because seriously, what was that? We still don't know who Laura ended up with. In other words, we have no idea who she chose. While this is not a critically acclaimed franchise, it is a very addictive one that follows the life of Laura after she gets kidnapped by a mafia boss named Massimo. In the first film, Massimo gave Laura 365 days to fall in love with him, hence the title. And then the sequel introduced viewers to a very um, a very interesting person, Massimo's evil twin brother. But let's not forget the second love interest, Nacho. Those who have read the novels know that the screen adaptation stayed far from the source material. In the third installment, Laura was constantly dragged between Nacho and Massimo. A lot of fans claim that Laura appears to choose Massimo in the end, but that's not the case because if the creators wanted us to think she chose Massimo, they would have given us a clear ending. We previously mentioned that there are some rumors suggesting 365 days 4 is in development already and if this is true we are screwed keep watching to find out why while some fans think the franchise should definitely end with a third film others argue we need another part in order to see a proper ending i have to agree with the latter because let's face it we need a film in which we see a definite happily ever after and really i don't mind if laura ends up with nacho as long as the story makes sense there's a good chance that netflix will make 365 days 4 and even though Laura appears to choose Massimo over Nacho at the end of the third installment, nothing proves that she will be satisfied with the ultimate choice. Another thing that proves we'll see another film is the fact that the screen adaptation did not stay loyal to the source material. In fact, the ending of the film franchise was quite different than the ending of the book series. 365 Days 4's story would now follow the adventures that were left out. Did you guys know that Laura ends up with Nacho in the books? Also, the characters in the books are, well, quite complicated, especially Massimo. He is, uh, how should I put this, a complete jerk. That's not the case in the screen adaptation. And Maybe the creators thought it was too early for fans to meet this evil version of the male lead. There's also a deleted scene from the film in which Massimo says that you need to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Okay, seriously, let's get into these surprising plot details and crazy theories, shall we? So, to be fair, the book and the third film have a similar start, with Laura having survived the last scene from the second film. But there is one big difference in the scene because in the source material, our female protagonist was pregnant when she was hurt, but in the movies, she was pregnant at the end of the first movie. Remember that car accident? Anyway, the outcome is the same because Laura ends up losing her child in both the book and the screen adaptation. If the third film stayed loyal to the source material, we would have met a different version of the fan favorite Massimo. In the book, Laura becomes an alcoholic after she loses her baby. Massimo on the other side becomes a drug addict. They go through literal hell in the novels while in the screen adaptation they fight but it's really not so serious. In the book Laura is alive thanks to Nacho who procures her a heart for a transplant. No it was not his heart. We have no idea where he got the heart to be honest. In the book Laura lives with Nacho while Massimo becomes a sex addict. So when he finds out that his wife lives with his enemy he sends her a package with her dead dog 
in a box. Yes, that's right. Laura knows the packages for Massimo, and to make things worse, he bought her that dog in the first place. At Olga's wedding, Laura gets jealous seeing Massimo with another girl and goes to him to start a conversation. Massimo then tells her that Nacho was the one who sent her the dead dog, and she believes him. Shortly after, she goes back with, yes, you guessed it, Massimo. This was a huge mistake because now Massimo drugs Laura and tries to get her pregnant, keeping her hostage again. Because of this, Laura tells him that she is going to kill herself. In the end, Laura escapes and runs away with Nacho. The pair has a daughter and lives happily ever after. Massimo has given up on Laura and lets her keep the company. You see, this is nothing like the film. Author Blanka Lipinska co-wrote all three movies in the trilogy adaptation of her own novels. So yeah, she knew what was happening and did this on purpose because the third book received a lot of negative reviews thanks to the previously mentioned events. But maybe the creators will use these events for the plot of the next film. Who knows? Maybe the author will write yet another book that will give a proper ending to Laura, Massimo, and Nacho. What do you guys think is the better option here? Just let her go. If it comes back, it's yours forever. Who would be back for 365 Days 4? Well, if there's another film, we expect to see Anna Marie Shekluka and Michelle Marone as Laura and Massimo, respectively. They are the central couple, so they must return and reprise their roles. Simon Cecina's Nacho became an essential part of the story, so he needs to come back too. Magdalena Lamparska is likely to return as Laura's BFF Olga, alongside Otar Saralice as Olga's fiance Domenico. But maybe we'll meet some new characters? Who knows? Maybe Laura will end up with a totally different guy? Maybe Nacho and Massimo will end up together? Expect the unexpected with this franchise. Do we have a potential release date? First, we need Netflix to officially greenlight 365 Days 4. Once the film is given a green light, we'll know more info regarding cast members, plot details, and release date. The final two movies in the franchise were filmed back to back and released close together as a result. Our guess is that we'll see the movie sometime in the middle of 2024 at the earliest. In an interview with Decider, shortly after the release of the third film, Michel Marone was asked whether he was interested in making a fourth film. I mean, who knows if this is the end, Marone said, adding that he feels very good inside because he has done something good with his life. This trilogy practically changed his life and the actor feels good about it. A little bit sad because that's the end. Or not? I don't know. We also know that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. It looks like the actor is interested in making yet another film, and that's all that matters for now. In the same interview, the actor also revealed that he's going to continue to work with Netflix on some really good projects. See you in the next video.